Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about singletons. Singletons is a design pattern that allows scripts to communicate together efficiently. So let's jump right into it. This is a setup I used in my mobile touch video. I'll link that up above. It's pretty straightforward. The way this works is I've got three different buttons. I raycast from my finger position on the screen. If I touch one of these buttons, I get some points and the button graphic changes. I've also set it up so that I can click on the buttons as I don't have my phone plugged up to the computer right now. Let me make sure that we have an aspect ratio where I can see everything. As you can see, as I click on buttons, my score goes up and buttons change images. The way this project works, I'm going to just go over it briefly, is I have a global manager here with a script that detects if I click on a button or not. This is the controls for touch. And then down here are the controls for mouse. These will then access a coin button script on the thing that it touches. If it has that, it's gonna call a function in it. It's gonna call this function right here. And this is where we see our first instance of a singleton. So the singleton is the score manager.instance part. Normally, if I reference a script or want to access another script, I need to do something like what I did right here. I need to access the component via a get component call, which then gives me access to the script. However, here I just put the class name dot instance, and then I had access to public functions in the script. So let's look at how we set this up. The main thing here is this public static score manager instance get private set. So there's a couple different important things about this. The first is this has to be public. Then it has to be static. Static is a keyword that means this will never change. This is always going to be the same thing, and it also allows people to access it from the class itself. Then we have a git private set. This is just a simple property setup. What this means is that any class may access this variable, but only this particular script can change this variable. Whenever you make singletons, this alone would work. However, you might run into some problems. You always want to have this clause in the start function in order to make sure that you don't have any possible scenario where you can have two score managers at the same time. Because if you do, then your singleton will break and bad things can happen. So I ask if instance does not equal null, what this is saying is if there is already a singleton out there, we want to destroy ourselves. Otherwise, we're going to set instance equal to this script, and then we're going to say don't destroy on load this. What does this part mean? This has to do with moving between levels or any sort of weird business where Unity de destroys a game object. So I'm going to exit out of maximize on play. I'm going to hit play. Currently over here you see that we have my Android mobile scene and it has all the stuff on it. Now I also have a don't destroy on load scene with extra stuff on it. You can see that my global game object moved from my Android scene to my global scene. Even if I load a different level, this top scene will change, but the bottom scene will not. This prevents it from getting destroyed and recreated as you move from level to level. And the reason why it got moved down here is because of that don't destroy on load call. The main advantage of classes being singletons is it allows you to communicate between two classes without having a direct reference. This makes your code more modular, which is means it's more efficient for larger projects because you don't have to know exactly what everything is in order for it to function. And another example of this is events. I think I've done a video on those. If I have, I'll post them up above. If not, that'll be soon to be done on my list. But events are a way for one script to say, hey, I did a thing, then another script to listen for anyone saying, hey, I did a thing, as opposed to having to get a direct reference. It decouples your scripts from each other, which makes them more modular, which makes them more effective and less prone to errors. I hope you found this video interesting. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons, and I will see you in the next one.